Okay, we wanna find an exponential function when we're given two points that are on this exponential function. So in this case, we're given the y-intercept, which is actually a very nice point to be given, and an additional point that's on our exponential function. So as we get going on this, we know it's an exponential function. So it has to fit into this model, a times b to the x power. So in getting started on this, I'm gonna to try to set up two equations from the beginning. Um, and that's based on, we have an x value and let's say an f of x value here, an x value and an f of x value in 750. So for this first ordered pair, let's plug in to our exponential model. I'm gonna plug in six for f of x and I'm gonna plug in zero for our x value. And then a second equation, I'm gonna use our second ordered pair. I'm gonna plug 750 in for f of x times a, or equals a times b raised to the third power as I replace three in for our x in our general uh, exponential function model. All right, now looking at this, we have two separate equations, but this left equation is actually gonna work out pretty nicely because we know that based on our exponent rules, anything raised to the zero power is gonna equal one. So really this is saying six equals a multiplied by one, or that's the same thing as saying that a is six. Well, these are both points on the exact same function. So what we're allowed to do is take this value for a and substitute it into our other equation. So at this point, we have 750 equals, and now I'm gonna take this, substitute it in where this a is. So I can say equals six times b to the third power. Okay, from here, we have an equation that only has the one unknown. We don't know what B is yet, so let's do some work to solve for B. I think the easiest way to do this is first make this into a power equation where we have our variable raised to an exponent on one side and all the numbers on the other side, the constants. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by six. So 750 divided by six is gonna be 125 is equal to B to the third power. Now that we have a power equation, we can get rid of this cube by applying a cube root to both sides. So that'll get B on one side all by itself. And now we can get our calculator out and either do a cube root, or it also means the same thing if you raise this to the one third power, that's gonna be equivalent to doing a cube root. So sometimes it's easier getting that into your calculator as a rational exponent instead of as a cube root. But this should simplify down into being five. So now we have a value for A, and now we have a value for B. Let's go ahead and put these together and we'll have our function f of x is gonna be A times B to the x power. And there we have our function. All right, hope this helps out. Now this is kind of a special case where we're given the y-intercept as one of the two points. We'll do another a little bit more difficult example in just a second where it's not a y-intercept that's given to us. All right, good luck.